Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider sticking around, giving the video a thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel. There's also a join button right down there that you can click to become a channel member for some exclusive perks. Diving right in, um, I have a ton of brand new to me products to test out. Some of this is from my recent Sephora haul, some of it is from subscription boxes, and some of it, some of it I was just curious about. So um, because my lips are feeling a little bit dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips first. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but I do want to go ahead and toss on the Gloss Balm from Fenty Beauty. I have multiples of these. I love them, but this is their new shade, Fuchsia Flex. I'm a big fan of this product. I have the shade Riri. I also have the, oh, oh my gosh. I also have the Lip Plumper one in the heat. That is so Stunning. Oh my gosh. And I thought this would be beautiful, especially for like spring and summertime. All right. I think it's beautiful. I don't feel this like, I don't, I don't feel the shimmer or sparkle or anything. I think it looks really pretty. Not quite as pigmented once on the lips, but I think it's really pretty. We'll just kind of see how it feels throughout the course of the video, but I love these. I already know that I love them. Next up, I'm going to be testing out the brand new launch for Neutrogena. This is their Pure Screen mineral uv tint face liquid with a vitamin e it is a 30 um, spf tinted sunscreen neutral undertone for flexible coverage i did get the shade medium and the reason i got this is because i mean it's still a little bit pricey ish it was like 18 dollars, but they did have a bogo um, if you are new here, I love, I did not realize this wasn't going to be sealed. <laughs> um, I love the Super Goop Glow Screen, and I also love the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer. So I'm hoping that this can be like a dupe. I, those two I love. Um, already I can tell it's slightly more liquidy. I'm going to just kind of see what happens. I love products like this for the summer months because I like to obviously protect my skin. <laughs> and then I also really, really love to have just a little kiss of coverage, if you will. I like that little bit of a tint for, you know, my complexion, for my face. And then I like a glow as well. This is given a little bit, it's a mineral sunscreen. I expected some of a cast, but we'll blend it all the way out. I always feel like these tend to pull a little bit more pinky on me and or leave a white cast so i'm gonna blend it completely in i actually smell next to nothing which is pretty strange <laughs> i like it though liking the glow not actually really giving any kind of coverage if anything maybe it's just kind of diffusing maybe a little bit of my redness i'm gonna get just a tiny bit more and I usually opt for something a little heavier than SPF 30. But it looks really, really pretty. I do like the level of glow. All right, we'll let that sit on the skin and see what happens. So far, it's okay. I just, I don't think too many things are going to compare to the Dermatology one and the Super Goop one. But I did want to test it out. I do like it. It feels incredibly light on the skin. So, so far, so good. I just... I wish it had a kiss more coverage and maybe was a little more glowy. But if you do have oily skin, then obviously that maybe that's not your preference. Um, so yeah, I like it so far. Next up, I'm going to try the Ciate Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Perfector. I did get the shade Light. And with a color corrector, a perfector, you typically want to go in underneath, you know, your foundations or your concealers or whatever. And if I didn't have these little fake nails on, I would literally just go in with my nails. Or we're just with, I would just go in with my fingers, but I'm going to opt to go in with a brush. And I'm going to take some that seems very, very creamy and quite emollient. It picked up a bunch. I'm going to work off the back of my hand. Yeah, I picked up way too much. That is the shade. So I'm going to tap some out. And because I do have drier skin, textured skin, I am opt to go... I'm opting to go in with a less is more approach. And these typically are not meant to give, you know, coverage necessarily. A lot of times they are enough coverage for me personally. It is more to, you know, brighten, to color correct, to take away sallowness and blueness and stuff like that. So again, less is more approach. 
it almost smells baked goods -y, which is kind of odd. Um, I like the texture and the finish of this though. It's quite like balmy. It does feel slightly tacky. So we'll kind of see, you know, how that kind of trans, how that transfers to the skin. This almost feels like if you've tried the Ciate, like the dewy, balmy, like blush thing, um, it, it feels very much like that. Sometimes these types of products are not my favorite. Even though I do have dry skin, I feel like they don't always like set down and can still feel a little tacky on the skin, and I don't like that. But I should have done one eye. Sorry, guys. I think you can kind of visibly see, though, how kind of lifted and illuminated and brightened that looks. I like that. The texture for me, again, is a little... A little tacky. I don't feel like this is going to set down, but we'll give it a second and we will see. And then prior to going in with kind of actual makeup, makeup, I do want to test out the brand new e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Shockingly fine mist and major makeup grip. And you're supposed to shake it together. It has like an oil based layer to it as well. But it says that it's great for Hopefully I can get this off. <laughs> it says great for kind of pre-makeup, during your makeup process, and then obviously to set. I don't know how I feel about this actually being a setting spray, like a locking everything in spray, because it has an old base to it. So I'm a little confused on those types of claims, but I do want to just kind of see what happens. I want to see, does it make everything look a little bit more refreshed? And do we really get that, you know, genuinely dewy look? I'm going to see what the mister looks like. That is incredibly fine. I love that. Wow. <laughs> All right, yes, I am definitely seeing everything kind of come forward and everything look a little bit more glowy and dewy. Okay, I like that so far. We'll use it at the end also. And um, I don't smell anything at all. The mist was incredibly fine on it. I like that. Before I add in any coverage, I do want to test out this Morphe 2 Sun and Done Smooth Gliding Bronzer Stick. I did get the shade Amber Shores. I do love bronzing sticks, so I wanted to test this one out. I actually want to put some on the back of my hand, or I want to start on my hand, just so I can see kind of how it feels and the tone of it. Oh, that's blending out so well. Oh, this to me reminds me of like the Danessa Myricks, like the blurring um, like bronzer that I recently tried out. It feels almost very like velvet-like, so I think I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna try to go straight in I typically will start at the very top of my, like my cheeks into the hairline and I like to go in with a like kabuki style brush where this one's a little bit more flimsy and I like to underpaint especially with a new product and or if I'm trying to keep a pretty glowy base if you will that is blending out phenomenally well. Um, I don't smell anything it doesn't feel thick or heavy and I like to see too, I've kind of had this in place for a second. I like to see, is it going to kind of stick? And actually I am seeing that just a little bit. Hopefully you guys are seeing it where it's just leaving me dots. I do that so that I know, do I need to go in and work one side at a time? Do I need to work very quickly to spread it out? I'm gonna pick up a little bit on my brush and then also go in that way. I really like the tone and undertone of this. It is blending out incredibly well. I definitely think you have to move a little bit quickly though. Those little spots did dissipate as I blended them out, but noting that for you guys. And I mean, this is definitely a cheaper, you know, more kind of drugstore pricing alternative to like some of my other favorites. The texture though is lovely. Okay, this is beautiful. It, it definitely sticks in place though. So uh, if you do get this, do as I say, not as I did. You want to do one side at a time and you want to quickly blend or work from, you know, take some from the stick and work that way as opposed to going straight into the skin. I'm thrilled so far, you guys. Next up, I received this in, I think, my Ipsy Glam bag, and I've not tested it yet. It's the Born Ruby Oh So Natural Blush Drops in the shade Peach. 
I'm so excited about this. If I can get it open, I'll be even more excited. <laughs> How are y'all doing, by the way? If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. I hope you'll stick around and join my beauty family and subscribe if you like what you see. Do you have any summer plans, graduations? We have so many graduations, birthdays, all of the things coming up. So going to see what it looks like first. I don't always like these applicators, you guys. I feel like I'm literally, I'm just a dumbass and I cannot figure them out. Some of them lock and some of them don't. You don't know how much product's gonna come up. Okay, I don't think this one locks. And shockingly, it come up, and shockingly it came up pretty evenly and not super fast. Again, I'm gonna work from my hand. Oh my gosh, that color, you guys. That is stunning. Okay, yeah, it's steady coming out. So maybe I pushed up way too much. Yeah, I did. Ah, and that's what I don't like because if you end up pushing up too much or it doesn't lock in place, you're wasting a lot of product and it gets pretty damn messy. So I don't know. I don't smell anything. Going in with that same exact brush, I'm gonna pick up the tiniest little bit and I'm gonna tap it off on my towel down here <laughs> and um okay there we go <laughs> and lightly press in starting toward the apple of my cheeks and then meeting but not taking away from that bronzer that is gorgeous. I like to also bring it up slightly on my nose. I'm gonna grab a tiny, tiny bit more. I'm noticing on my hand that it's drying down pretty quickly, which again, I don't like something that's not going to dry down all the way, so I think I'm gonna like this. I definitely got way too much. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, definitely less is more approach, and definitely I feel like don't push up as much as I did, which I didn't feel like I did push up a lot but very clearly I did. Um, I look sunburnt, but keep in mind, we're putting complexion product on top. Um, yeah, less is more approach. You do not need a lot of this. Um, and I'm noticing with the, like the brightener, it's definitely settling just a little bit. So I would most likely have to powder under my eyes just a little bit. So if you wanted to add concealer on top and then lightly set, I think that probably would be the best way to go. I am going to press that out. Otherwise, though, I mean, it looks great. Nothing nothing looks dry or anything like that, especially for me having dry skin. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is the Ultra Creamy. This is Light Medium Sand. I'm going to do a dot and a dot. And then I'm going to add just a little bit down here where I have... I am almost out of this one. <laughs> I put a little bit down here where just I have, you know, broken capillaries and stuff like that. And then literally the tiniest little amount up here. I opt to go in with a foundation brush. That is my preference. And with this, I love this. I've purchased this, I cannot even say how many times. I probably have five right now in different, you know, shades. I have the Ultra Mini so I can use them for travel and they're in my brow drawer over here because I use them to cut my brows out every time I do my brows. Um, I have like summertime shades, wintertime, I cannot, I, I love this concealer. It is quite literally the best concealer I've ever used ever. Um, and the reason I like it so much, you can see this sat here for quite a while. You'll see when I blend these, it's sat here for, you know, a while. It's not matte, it's not heavy, it's not thick in any way, shape, or form. It blends out incredibly well. It gives beautiful coverage, but it's also very, very skin-like. And I like that even though it's creamy, it's not going to slip inside. So even if you do have, you know, normal skin, if you have oily skin, I think that it would also work for that application. And you can see how everything was looking just a little too much over here, <laughs> a, little, a little too much. Um, that's the reason I like to underpaint. Now that I'm taking that little bit of residual product that's on my brush, on top of those complexion products that I have placed down, you can see now that everything is starting to really blend in well, everything is starting to mesh well and become a little bit more cohesive. It just, it looks great. Okay, in my opinion, it looks great. Going in with just a dry sponge, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of coverage here. 
And I don't typically opt for concealer. You guys know that if you've been here with me for a while. Um, but this concealer I will use. If I am not using, you know, actual foundation, I will do this. And again, I'm going to take whatever little residual amount is there and press on top just to make sure, again, that it's not too much, it's not too deep. Everything looks well balanced and well blended. I am now going to go in with my e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is the pink version. I've gone through multiples of the regular one. And I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to tap in to the actual container, tap it off into the lid, and get all of the excess off of this. I want to set my under eye, but I don't want to take away that glow and that luminous quality to my complexion. I'm going to very lightly tap across. Now, the reason I don't want to set all over is because I do want to test these out. It might be a little bit too late in the process, but because we've kind of put, you know, complexion product on top, I feel like it'll still show up a little bit, but this is the new Owl of Paradise Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronzer. And again, I'm going to work from the back of my hand. And I'm sure this is supposed to be like a dupe for like the bronzy drops and stuff like that. And this was only, I think, 22 ish dollars. And I'm going to go in and just kind of put this at the top part of my cheeks and just kind of give myself that little bit of bronzy glow. You can also mix this in with your moisturizer, your tinted moisturizer, your foundation. So I'm going to go in. Oh, that's very sheer. I actually think I'm going to like that. Again, keeping it at the top. Ooh, that is pretty. I was a little nervous how this was going to, you know, play with everything else. I maybe should have used it before setting, but I don't feel like it's disrupting anything. I think that is beautiful. This is stunning. I think this by itself, with just like the Neutrogena, or one of my other favorites, um, and then a little bit of this kind of mixed in or put right on top, how incredibly stunning would that be? Yeah, I'm a fan. That is beautiful. Blend it out well. I don't see it lifting or picking anything up. I'm seeing a little emphasis, you know, through like right here. Um, that's not uncommon for me. I am 45 years old and I have real skin. <laughs> Things like that happen. All right. Um, we have some mascaras and stuff to try. We have some eyeshadows that I want to try. They're not new to me, but I did pick up some more this thing's huge. I'm so sad that JD Glow was going out of business, but this is my big um, single shadows palette. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> and I recently picked up some Clarity Cosmetics shadows, some matte shadows, and a special shadow. So I want to use this green because, you know, I'm wearing green today. There's also this beautiful kind of more taupey grayish color right here. This is Driftwood. The green is Hunter. And then I also got her brand new Galactic Multi-Chrome. It's like purpley, pinky, tons of shimmer and stuff like that. I think it'll be a little bit complimentary to what I'm wearing and the rest of the makeup. Um, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to do that very quickly. I can already attest to the quality and stuff like that. So I'll do it with you guys, but I'm going to speed the process up. look thus far. Um, I'm a dummy because in the thing they looked kind of similar. This is JD Glow Galactic and then this is the Clarity Cosmetics Trick Trickster which is what I was supposed to be using. So <laughs> I will put a little bit on top of this. I am sorry about that you guys. I don't think it's gonna make a whole lot of a difference. Oh yes it is. Whoa! Ooh, ooh that is pretty. I mean both of them are gorgeous obviously. Sorry about that, you guys. That looks so pretty. I love that. That's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Other than we're going to test out a couple of mascaras, which if y'all know, y'all know, um, mascara is like my favorite freaking product to use. I have two to test out. I got this one in my BoxyCharm for this month. It is the Polite Society Mascara. This is the Gloat Greatest Lashes of All Time. 
And then, I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen it, nor have I tried it. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush in Very Black. So I'm gonna test this. I got this specifically for my lower lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly, as I always do, and then I'll be RB. All right, mascara is on. They're both okay. I did layer this one up a little bit more and I feel like I got a little bit more length and curl. I cannot attest to long wearability and stuff like that. Um, the lower lashes, it can get a little bit messy and I do already kind of see a little bit of flaking. So we'll see how that wears too. I will update you guys in the description box or in a pinned comment. Um, I did take off the gloss and it did leave behind quite a bit of sparkle. And it's kind of, it's there, like, so noting that for y'all. I'm going to line very quickly with my Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Sandy Beige. And I'm going to test out this brand new What's Up Beauty Lipstick. This is in the shade Seba or Seba. And this also came in my Ipsy. And this is kind of the miniature version. I'm going to post how mother effing beautiful this lipstick is. I don't know if they're going to be launched at the time that I'm doing this. Um, no affiliation. They don't know I exist, but I want y'all to see how beautiful this lipstick is. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. Let me line really quickly. That is really, really nice. Super creamy. Definitely still a more matte finish, but more of a velvet matte. Um, the design's already gone. <laughs> Well, it's kind of a bummer, especially if you buy the full size one. Um, I mean, obviously that's going to happen, but I like the finish of it. I like the texture of it and stuff like that. It applied, you saw there was no tugging or dragging or anything like that. Um, and then very last thing, y'all, and then I'm going to let y'all go, which is perfect timing because I don't know if the lighting just changed or not, but it is about to throw down and storm. I'm a little terrified, but I got this in, I think I got this in like a Sephora Favorites or something like that. It's the Huda Beauty Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Very Brown. I also thought that would be very complimentary to our look today. My eyes are watering just slightly, so I don't know quite how long this would last on the lids. It does say long wear eye pencil. Again, I'll update you guys. Um, it's just okay. I'm already kind of seeing, yes, it was creamy and stuff, but even with a little bit of watering that my eyes are doing, it's already, to me, appearing that it's kind of coming off a little bit. Um, so the mascaras both are okay. The liners for now is okay. The lipstick I really like. Of course, you know, I typically go for like oils and glosses and stuff like that now versus standard, you know, lipsticks, but it applied beautifully. I think it's nice and opaque. I love the shade of it. It feels comfortable. These I love. I love the finish of them and they have set down like they're not super sticky or tacky or anything like that. I like the tone of these and the little bit of glow but not glittery, not too much. I'm excited to keep testing this and mix it in with a product like this. This I like. I wish it gave a little bit more of a tint like Universal UV tint. I expected to have not necessarily coverage but a little bit of a veil. Um, I like it. I'll use it up. Obviously, you know, I'm an SPF fan fanatic. Um, the finish of it's nice and it did dissipate as far as having that weird cast. So I don't see the cast at all. Like even I have a massive mirror, um, even in the mirror, I do not see that cast or anything at all. I like the finish of it. It doesn't feel itchy, which is a good thing because SPF sometimes can be hit and miss for me. It can make me itch and make my skin break out and stuff like that. And it kind of gives me a hives type of moment. Um, so it's not doing that. So this I like. Um, the blush, love the color. I, I don't like this kind of component. I just don't. That's personal preference for me. But the shade of it, um, how intense I know that it could be and stuff like that. I just think that it's probably a little bit finicky. Maybe not beginner friendly. Um, the Ciate London product, the Under Eye Perfector in Light. I like this and I think I'm gonna get some good use out of it. After I kind of pressed it out and then added a little bit of powder, that creasing and stuff that it was doing and the bunching, it is not doing that at all. And I think that it looks stunning. I liked that it gave me a little bit of brightness, 
but it's not heavy or anything like that. I, I like this. I really, really like this. Um, what else? The spray, let's set again. Let's set again. The mist on this, incredible, no hate, no harsh scent. So I really like that. And then the standout, one of the standouts for me is the Morphe bronzer. I think this is also incredibly beautiful. Let's go ahead and set. And of course the eyeshadows, I love, I know and love, you know, their quality already. I am sorry about the little snafu with using the wrong shade. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That's beautiful. Woo, okay y'all, look, we had some hits, only a couple little misses-ish. <laughs> um, but overall, I think this is a good experience. Not every like first impressions or testing new makeup ends up with anything looking cute. So if I feel cute at the end of the video, y'all, I'll take it. But I'm gonna hop off, the rain is coming. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you to my beautiful channel members. I love you, stay happy, healthy and safe, and of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties. <laughs>